It is so soft and squishy, which allows you to wear it either cross body or, I'm sorry, that's the opposite. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Nicole here. Today, I just wanted to come on real quick and talk to you guys about my new baby. And she is in here. Um, if you recognize the dust bag, it is a Tory Burch, and I know you know that it's the soft plumbing by the title of the video, but I just wanted to do a quick reveal and give it some initial thoughts. So I was going to do like a true unboxing of this bag, but the bag itself had a bunch of bubble wrap on it and it was wrapped up and it was just a whole thing. So I decided not to do that and just present the bag to you guys right now. So, dun 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 dun! Here it is, oh my gosh, okay, on camera, it's looking like straight up pink, wow, okay. This is the Fleming Soft Convertible Shoulder Bag in, what color is this in? Brilliant Red, I bought it off of Tory Burch's website. It has um, gold hardware, as you can see, and it is just so soft and squishy, and I love it in terms of being like a statement bag. When it comes to purchasing handbags, if I'm going to spend a lot of money, I wanna make sure that it's classic, and that it goes with everything, and that it lasts me forever, and is sort of timeless, and da 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 But when it comes to like statement pieces, I don't wanna make that like full, full investment. And so I would say Tory Burch, as well as like Rebecca Minkoff and like Michael Kors are great designer brands where you can sort of play around, experiment, you know, go for something a little bit more statement without breaking the bank. Okay, so a little bit about this bag. This bag retails right now for 528 US dollars. It is a leather bag, and again, mine is in the brilliant red color. Um, it comes with a gold chain that allows you to either wear it as a shoulder bag like this, or crossbody like this, like this. Uh, it has a metal closure where basically you have to push on this sort of, whoa! It has a metal closure uh, that opens and closes by pushing up on this right here. And then inside, it has a middle um, zipper pocket as well as a front pocket and then two pockets on either side of that zipper pocket in the middle. So obviously I have not used the handbag yet. I just got it, but I'm super excited about it. I'm really, really happy with this purchase. I was sort of kind of going back and forth on buying like a designer designer bag in a color like this, but then decided that for the investment, um, I wanted to not have to break the bank to sort of try a statement um, color like this. So I know you guys want mod shots. Let me switch over to the mirror so that you guys can see how this bag looks on. Here I am, I put on a really neutral outfit uh, just to really let the bag stand out so you guys could see it. Here it is on. It's been like three months, full transparency since I filmed that reveal video. Um, but now I'm back and I am filming an updated uh, sort of mod shot section for you guys. I just thought the last clip, I don't know, just didn't really do the bag justice. Um, I always wear it as a shoulder bag. I just think it's the perfect length um, when it's worn as a shoulder bag as opposed to as a crossbody, at least on my sort of frame. Totally statement in full transparency. Um, I haven't been out of the house in like the last three months. There hasn't been a lot of opportunity for me to, you know, sort of show off a statement bag. So it is what it is. Uh, the bag is holding up great obviously, considering I haven't really had the opportunity to wear it out. And uh, overall, still really love the bag and can't wait to be able to actually rock it outside. Just so you guys could see it, I went ahead and put it on in its crossbody form. Um, actually, it doesn't look that bad on camera, but just for me, it's, it's hanging a little bit lower than I would like as a crossbody. So again, my preference would be to wear it as a shoulder bag like this. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you guys want to see from me next. All right, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.